Elemental diets or amino acid based formulas are extremely effective therapies for eosinophilic esophagitis. They work in more than 90% of patients in pretty much any study that you look at. Um, I think the decision to use elemental formulas, you'll probably get a different answer from different physicians. Um, so in a person, or ch it's used most commonly in children because it is not easy to take enough by mouth to get enough calories to continue to thrive. Um, and it's just very hard to eat nothing but an amino acid based formula. So the first thing is the age of your child. If you have an infant who's already used to taking an all liquid diet, it may be easier to shift that infant over to an elemental formula. They're not yet used to textures. They're not necessarily used to different tastes yet. So that is probably an easier choice. So Part of it is the age of the patient. The other, thing, the other thing to consider is food allergies and whether the person has them or not. So for example, if somebody doesn't have a lot of allergies or doesn't have a lot of positive tests to allergies, when you look for them, it may be that they don't necessarily have a lot of food triggers for their disease. And in that case, you may want to try something else first, either an empiric elimination diet or topical corticosteroid to try and treat um, sort of in a way that's not quite so unpalatable, especially if it's an older child. On the other hand, if you have a child that has so many food allergies that to build them a diet that's gonna be nutritionally competent and have everything that they need, if they have so many food allergies, that becomes really hard to do to build a diet where they get enough nutrients. In that case, an elemental diet is a good choice for a person. Um, the other thing is really, um, you know, this is a disease that affects the whole family, and so you have to think about what's gonna be the best in the lifestyle of the family. Um, and it's important to remember for, for almost all families in the US that you know, dinner time and meal time is a big focus for families. And so you really have to take the family's preference into account as well when you think about, should I limit the diet and maybe supplement with an elemental formula or should I go exclusively to elemental formula? It's another consideration. Um, personally, with our patients, we tend to try what we consider sort of easier remedies first. So we'll try an empiric elimination diet or sometimes a testing-based diet, or we'll try a topical corticosteroid. And if that doesn't work, then we'll shift to an elemental formula when we feel like it's really necessary. So in our clinic, we don't use it first line unless there is a, you know, a really clear indication for that.